Caroline Douglas. And I'm Frank Sampson. We are here at the Boulder Public Library in Boulder, Colorado, and we are surrounded by all of our my sculpture and Frank's paintings, and we are very excited to be here. I met Caroline in the same situation uh, 10 years ago, mm -hmm. and we had a show here together, and so from there on we became <laughs> very good friends. Now this is 10 years later, and we're back with our anniversary show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when we came together to do that first show, we were so delighted to see each other's work because we had similar imagery and similar colors and similar textures. It was almost as if we had walked in the same dream together, right Frank? Yes, of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Caroline literally has dreams that are specific about her work. With me, it's just more of a, a general um, feeling of sitting by myself <laughs> and letting my fantasy go. And uh, I wouldn't call it necessarily, I call it a daydream. <laughs> So I've always been an artist since I was a child and done all kinds of art, painting, drawing, ceramics, everything, poetry. I had a severe head injury. This was about 15 years ago. And I, my head was crushed in a cherry picker. So I had no idea what, uh, what the journey after that involved. I um, had to relearn how to talk. I had to relearn how to walk. And um, artwork is what actually brought my brain back into balance. I came from a farm and my mother was a school teacher up in North Dakota in the 30s and so uh, we had lots of books around and she would tell stories all the time. I had four brothers and that's how she'd entertain us and so all the way through my work you'll find a narrative aspect I believe and it's because I love <laughs> I love the fact she told us just beautiful stories uh, however, I didn't really start painting until I was about 20 years old in undergraduate school. I, I had just fallen in love with art and I was so happy that my father was able to help me go to college and study painting because my brothers were all aiming more towards the farming thing. And so I felt kind of blessed by that. When I work on my pieces, often I have an idea from the dream that I want to accomplish. like. If I have a dream of these, I'll start with the legs and I have to let them firm up as I go and then add the belly and then slowly add the body to the whole piece. Um, and I've done this for about 40 years, so I kind of intuit when it's a good time to stop and start and let it dry, that kind of thing. Um, other times I just start with a lump of clay and I just free associate and just see what the clay wants to say at that moment. Um, I also feel like what I'm trying to communicate with my pieces is a feeling. When I have the dream and I see the animal or the, or the woman with the animal in my dreams, I feel this incredible joy or serenity or some kind of deep insight, something that really affects me and I remember that in my dream and I want to convey that um, while I'm working. What I'm striving for is just communicating my joy at being able to create with my hands and express myself. So I, I feel like um, I'm one lucky person. <laughs> so my process with the clay pieces is um, I use stoneware for most everything. Sometimes I use porcelain, but then I will fire them once to a bisque state and then glaze them with uh, glazes that I mix myself with all kinds of chemicals and so when I then I put them in the big salt kiln so when these are all just uh, glazes that I have some idea of what they're going to look like but once I put them in the kiln throw the salt in at 2300 degrees I really don't know what's going to happen so often I'm surprised and sometimes in a bad way but usually in a good way well I love um, earth colors and I've been accused of using a very limited palette, but I, I do love, maybe because I grew up in a farm where it was more, lots of earth color, <laughs> and some green and blue. <laughs> but anyway, um, I, I love textures too, like earthiness, and uh, even though it's sometimes just implied, I have had periods where I worked with sand and uh, collage, and so far, and so I think it influences the imagery, even though I'm working on a flat surface now without any extra thing but the paint itself. I like to use uh, layering in my work. I love the idea of trying to capture light, and sometimes I feel like if you have transparent layers one over the other, 
it helps to uh, encourage the idea of seeing light and, and color from underneath as well as fresh paint on top. And as far as the uh, concepts in my painting, they, they are um, very narrative and people ask, what, what is the story? I don't really plan the story in advance. I, I start with maybe just one figure and then I begin building the environment and I start seeing more figures. And I love the idea of things out of focus and in focus. And so um, there is a dreamlike aspect, I'm sure. Creativity has really uh, helped me, it healed me basically, working with my hands and making the uh, dreams come true into, into physical reality for me um, has brought me so much joy. And I just hope that when people see my work and Frank's work also, that they feel somehow inspired uh, hopefully you'll get some kind of inspiration to create something in your life, whether it's a painting or a poem or even like even cleaning out your drawers or cooking a beautiful dinner can be so creative. It's just in how you are present with yourself as you work and notice the things around you. And, and I think it's basically curiosity and appreciation. Those are my two my things that I hope that you take away. Thank you so much. I have a gallery in Denver, uh, Sandra Phillips, and she she has a, a website and she has a lot of material that she's collected on my background. And um, I think that what I have shows there, she posted on her website. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. So you don't have a website for your own? No, no, I don't even have a computer. <laughs> uh, oh gosh. I invite you to visit my website at carolinedouglas.com where you can learn more about my story and see my work and see uh, my workshops. I take, work, to take people on workshops all around the world and um, join my email list too and I'll let you know about local happenings. Thank you.